massive UFO sightings in the state of Hawaii, captured by eyewitnesses in the town of Honokaha. These incredible lights fly over the skies as eyewitnesses testify to their legitimacy. My name is Gabriel Hernandez. I live on the Big Island of Hawaii. A student from the University of Hawaii eyewitnesses a very strange phenomenon, a lenticular cloud. It was absolutely incredible. So I proceeded to pull my iPhone out to document this very, very rare occasion. Much to my surprise, a bright, unusual object emerged from the clouds. At first, I thought it was an airplane. But the thing that really caught my attention was this thing made no noise, so I zoomed in on it. But what happened next blew my mind. It's absolutely incredible. Could these lights be a result of the lenticular cloud or something more ominous? Can't tell you what it was or where it came from. But one thing's for sure, when it dropped that object, it gave me a very uneasy feeling because this is my hometown, on the cop. But after all is said and done, I just feel extremely privileged and blessed to be able to capture this once-in-a-lifetime phenomenon on tape. Hi, my name is Julia Pizzini, and I live in Honoka, on the Big Island of Hawaii. I had just picked up my sister after filming her soccer game on February 5th, 2010, at the Honoka'a Elementary School. After the game, I noticed one of my sister's teammates pointing at the sky repeatedly saying, What is that, Daddy? What is that, Daddy? So I immediately pulled out my camera and aimed it in the general direction, and happened to capture these three glowing objects. I didn't know what they were at first, whether they were seagulls or balloons, but I've never seen seagulls or balloons make such erratic movements. Could this videotape footage confirm we are not alone? It almost seemed as if they were trying to hide from my camera. After a few short moments of attempting to evade my camera, they seemed to just disappear behind the clouds. To this day, none of the other witnesses or I have any idea what we saw that evening, but we all know that we witnessed something very extraordinary. During the month of October 10, 2010, HPD received numerous of calls regarding strange lights in the sky. Could these luminescent orbs of light actually be beings from another planet? One thing's for sure, in the little town of Honoka, there is something happening in the skies. So what kind of lights have you seen in the skies over the Hamakua coast? What kind of lights? Bright lights. I don't know what they are, but I see them. And they disappear from the sky. I'm serious. At least once a week I see it out there. At least. But people tell me it's a satellite, but I don't know what the hell it is. Pardon my French. We're here on the Big Island, on the Hamakua Coast, at the world's famous Waipio Valley, otherwise known as Waipio Valley of the Kings. There's been numerous of sightings of the legendary night marchers, and some assume that they may be UFO, paranormal activity, or actually alien beings visiting the Valley of the Kings. Anyway, we met up with Polly Abacar. He's one of the boys that have actually shot and filmed these major sightings right here on the Hamakua Coast. So we'll catch up with them right here. Paul Abacar goes by the name of Polly Boy here in Kukahaili, and he's been a resident of Kukahaili for how long? Uh, about eight years now. I've seen this video of the flying saucers over Waipio Valley, and it's actually been seen on the Sci-Fi Channel, and they're going to be coming down next season to do some evaluation on it. Wow, bro, that's amazing. Yeah, we've been seeing a lot of sightings. Okay, well, tell me about the particular sighting that you actually filmed that day, right here early this year. Yeah, that one day we was just going down Waipio, you know, my cousin had his camera out. I had my camera out. I was just going. We seen these, these like these white things. They look like a flock of birds, like fighting in the sky, you know, just going at it, you know. And next thing I knew, this other one came right around behind it. It was nuts. It's like, what the hell is that? You know, we was like, we never know what the hell that was. 
the next thing you know, the, uh, it came around the corner, and then next thing you know, it just took off around to Waimanu, like it was just going from valley to valley or something. It was so, nuts, bro. Well, before this day, would you ever think that UFOs exist? Yeah, I see. I used to watch movies and all that stuff, but no way. Not until I saw that. No way. Now, it's, I'm kind of a believer. Well, you know, this footage of yours is absolutely stunning and one of the best on tape. Actually, on our third phase of moon, it's up to about 360,000 hits in the past four months. Paul, you just keep an eye out in the skies and make sure you report to us if you see anything else, right? No problem, bro. I'll get on the phone and call you guys right away. We're about five miles down the road from Waipio Valley in a little town called Kapilena. Behind me here is one of the most amazing places because of this video. Check it out. The person who shot this amazing footage wants to remain anonymous. But behind me, right here, from me to the tree, it seems like we're at least one and a half football fields away. And that metal, metallic UFO must have been at least 70 or 80 feet wide. It's really weird to be here in a little small town on a quiet road, even though there is a little traffic going by. But why was it here? Was it checking out the cow or the horses? Who knows? We will be analyzing it later in future episodes. My name is Blake Cousins with Third Phase of Moon, and I want to thank all our subscribers from all around the world. You know who you are. So we'll see you next time. Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. Today's our 200th upload on our YouTube account. It's been an amazing ride. I'm Blake Cousins and thanks for joining us. Today, we're at an undisclosed location right here on the Hamakua Coast. What lies behind me is one of the most amazing UFO encounters caught in tape. The person who shot this incredible UFO footage has come forward and he is speaking to us at UFO Sightings, third phase of moon. Our source who shot this amazing footage has just arrived. He's agreed to speak with us regarding this amazing tape. We're here with Nick on location and he has come forward to discuss the day he did see this amazing UFO encounter with three lights in the sky, am I correct? Yes, you are. And uh, it wasn't just me, it was actually the whole neighborhood. There was a variety of witnesses. This is how it happened. We heard the dogs, the neighbor's dogs, they were just going off. And then we heard screams from the neighbors and they are yelling, lights in the sky. So we ran, I got my camera, this one right here. I zoomed in and, you know, they're transparent but very iridescent and bright and uh, we're just all blown away by what we saw. Well, how did you hear about Third Phase of Moon and what made you come forward and let us actually show this video on our website? Well, I'm a fan of the internet and YouTube, obviously, and I've studied. As soon as I saw this sighting, I went and hit the internet, and yours came up, and I was just blown away by your channel with UFO sightings in Hawaii. All right, there's a lot of skeptics out there, and you know, I have to ask Nick, have you had any manipulation with regarding this UFO video of yours? There will always be a skeptic. Skeptics will remain skeptic. I know for myself this happens to be a 100% legitimate UFO encounter. To all you naysayers out there, to hell with you. Thanks, Nick, for sharing your amazing footage with us on Third Phase of Moon. And if anybody out there has some amazing footage that you want to share, be sure to contact us at Third Phase of Moon. I want to thank everybody around the world for joining us right here at Third Phase of Moon. We're about 6 million hits and up to our 200th episode. So you be sure to subscribe to Third Phase of Moon for more UFO encounters from around the world. There's two gentlemen that go by the name of Keith and Nathan, and they have this amazing video that they say they've captured on tape. Check it out. This UFO footage was caught on tape on the Hamakua coast. They've 
are trying to sell this video for how, how much, guys? Well, if I, where are we going to start? Yeah. It's nice to see you guys. We've dealt with you in the past, but it's going to have to be cash and not. Yeah. This is well, pretty unique know. stuff. Uh, yeah. Me and Keith are really it's real. To how about some cash? Just bring the cash. Well, definitely. There's $10,000 these guys are asking for, for an exclusive 10 minutes that we You'll haven't seen yet. They say they have 10 minutes of more exclusive footage that they're willing to reveal for somebody that's going to pay at the <laughs> highest You guys bid. are here to buy it, aren't you? Yeah. Well, we dealt with you in the past. It's been pretty good. Uh, let's, let's work something up. I think we can. It's well, great the, footage. You'll love this. The number <laughs> these guys are asking for, they want $10,000 for 10 minutes. Hey, we, of we gave you the last bit for cheap. So today... So can we go on location and then uh, explain the events on, on how Absolutely. you guys... Absolutely. Let's do it. Bring the cash. Ten thousand dollars on the line. Well, we're gonna we're gonna get back to you just in a bit, and then check out this exclusive spot, right? Cool. Guys, let's yeah, do it, man. Well, I'm into it. <laughs> All right, we're on location here in the heart of Honoka, and tell me about this exclusive footage that you got, and tell me on how you got it. We just kind of came up here, you know. We've been going around town for a bit. We was hungry. We came up here to see. We heard there was a soup kitchen. Yeah, lunch. It was pretty good. Yeah. It was French onion. Yeah. And we, oh, so we come up. We went. We went inside. And they, they had this camera for a really good deal. I was uh, wanting to make it shot, dude. We walked out here to see if the damn thing even worked. I didn't even really want to come out. I wanted another bowl of soup. Next thing you know, there it is, and Keith's got the damn camera in his hand. What a coincidence. I don't know. I was just kind of playing with it. I, and I put it up to the horizon over here like this, and I, kind of behind the, a little bit behind the, the tower, and then... I, kind of, I, I just stopped paying attention to it then. All right, Keith, Nathan, tell me exactly how it went down right here behind. Did it come behind the tower, you said? Oh, well, it went, it went up behind amazing. the tower for a second. And it was, how long do you think it was there? Uh, probably 10 minutes or so it floated around out there. It was pretty cool. And, and like, we were just messing with the camera. That was yeah. after we changed the batteries. Yeah, yeah. You know, finally bought the footage that we've seen, we've only seen two minutes of it, right? Mm -hmm. And then you're claiming that you're going to sell us the rest of the 10, 10 minutes, minutes for 10 yeah. minutes. That was, you know, that was the stuff that was taken minutes, the day yeah. before, too. They were here twice. Oh, I see. So we knew to come back. It's of exclusive footage that oh, Third yeah. Phase of Moon is we negotiating We for. haven't given this to anyone. Okay, well, let's go back to your office and discuss some terms, okay? Let's you guys know. Let's do it. You guys know what we're talking about. That's where we're going, yeah? I and mean, it's real. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go back to the... And yeah. then I... All right, we'll... You know we'll damn well. You come out here. You uh, said you brought the cash, right? You saw this footage. Uh, the location is verified. You know it Let's make got. a deal. We've been there. We've all gone up there together and looked at it. You know it's worth the money. You're happy, yeah? Uh, well, you guys have been out there and you've seen what we got. It looks good. You know it. you got to admit it. <laughs> all Nothing I know is... Else, you've never seen another, anything like this. Well, before I buy that DVD of yours, well, all I want to know is that it's going to be an exclusive for third phase of Moon, not on CNN or Fox or any UFO website. We talk about exclusive, but you know, you know what this is worth. Okay, so... It'll be the first anyway, but nobody else is talking to us. Right? Yeah, we're not going to give this to anyone else. You know, $10,000 is quite a bit of money to cash out. And yeah, you guys, everybody's, everybody's a little short these days, but come on, you know. We're going to have to get some paperwork this on this. This is real, and you're never going to get, get anything here. like wait, this again. Wait, I need to cut this for a second. We yeah. need to talk about something. What's going on this over cut, here? This cut? Okay, okay. My cameraman called me over, and he exposed the truth behind this lie. And these guys are giving us a bunch of bullshit. My cameraman has just advised me that there's an object right over there that looks eerily familiar to the video that we've just seen. Is this a big hoax trying to make some money? What? Well, wait, what are you talking about? You know, we let's be serious here. That looks exactly. You know, come on, we got this. Where are come these on. guys going? I don't know. We what should they're just there get it is over there, dude. <laughs> See it? It's right there, dude. We should, that's it right there. We should just get the hell out of here. These guys, I don't know, man. See, they're covering it up, Blake, right there. Okay, so we at Third Phase of Moon go to the extent to expose the truth. Watch out, your look out. Come on. Out, out. Get, hey, get low and out of here. Get out of here. Come on. Get out of here. Don't come on. 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 It's amazing what people try and do for money nowadays. We at Third Phase of Moon are looking for the truth and exposing fraud and looking for real UFOs throughout the world. So if you've seen any spectacular UFO sightings, you let Third Phase of Moon know. I'm Blake Cousins, and we'll see you next time.